Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a little, a little tip. Okay, so it's about scales. So if we create a project, and if we go to a shade, so if, if so, there is a scale here on this title block in this title block, and if we drag any view. So for example, this view is one to one hundred, so it will give us one to one hundred. Okay. So sometimes we want, we don't want to see. Also, we have a view here. It says one to one hundred, but we don't want to um, have this one to one hundred here. So in this title block, so how can we do it? So um, the first way to do it, so you can go to the Family, the title block family, and you can somehow you can you can uncheck the visible, or even you can just create a a parameter. So, for example, scale instance, and OK, OK. So load this back into the project, and OK. So this way you can select this title block, and we have this scale parameter instance parameter. So in this view, so in this on this shade, I I don't want to see. So you can uncheck this one, so it will hide this scale. Okay. So um, let me just create a new shade. So because this is instance parameter, so you can you have the option to turn it on or off. Okay. So let me just drag another view into this onto this shade. So we see one to uh, one to one hundred. And um, you can go uncheck this and hide it. Okay, so this is one way to do it. And another way to do it is you can, uh, we know that um, if we have two views with different scales on one shade, so for example, let me have a look at this side plan. So it's 1 to 100 as well. Actually, let me change this one. So for example, change it to 1 to 200. And then if I drag this side plan onto this view, this again, um, actually, let me just check this box because it's hidden. Now you will see because these scales are different. So now it says as indicated. Okay. So, so sometimes it's easier to so for example you can have um, um, you can you, you can have a view it, it doesn't need to be any view floor plan of you can also use um, legend so the reason why you uh, to choose legend is you can use them in multiple shades Okay, so not like these any of these views, so you can only place them on one shade. Or drafting views um, as well, you, you can't place them on multiple shades. So if you use legend, you can create a legend at a different scale. So to so for example, this is 100. So I can create an, a, a legend. So one to even one to one. And um, and I click OK. So, um, but you need to have something on this in this view in this legend. So, what you can do is the easiest way is you can draw a reference plan. So, a reference plan RP because it uh, it's visible on the screen, but when you print, it's uh, it it won't show on um, PDF or uh, it won't print. Okay, so now let me cl close this one legend. So we can drag. Uh, where's my legend? Here. Yeah. So we can drag this legend onto this shade. So uh, don't worry too much about. So maybe um, maybe we can just drag this, uh, make this reference plan a little bit shorter. And also you can choose to no title so now it's only a reference plan here and then it will show as indicated so it will no longer show the scale of this view of this um, plan view okay so that's it 
So first method, you can edit your title block, add a visibility parameter. So you can control either hide it or show the scale. And the other way is you can, let me show, uh, create another one. So you can create a shade with this um, scale there. And let's place the side plan. So now you will see this 1 to 200. If you don't want to see this scale, so you can just drag this legend onto this shade. It will show, say, as indicated. So of course you can turn, change this to uh, no, no title. So if you print Control P and preview, so you won't see anything here. Okay, that's it. Thank you. I'll see you next time.